Hi everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you are, I'm your host, Dr. Heather Shah. On behalf of Calvas, I would like to welcome all of you to this webinar. Thank you very much for joining us today. We have another very interesting topic, and I'm really honored to welcome and introduce our distinguished guest speaker, who is going to talk about how to publish in high impact journals. Publication is a kind of something which is referred as the recognition of your research work. You can always learn it and can enhance your publication art by learning the rules of how to do it in a better way. So in this regard, we have an expert with us in today's this session. You will get the best insight, right guidance and suggestion about all these things. So stay tuned because an amazing stuff are coming ahead in this session. So before we start, I would like to thank Kalwas for arranging such enlightenment session for their support and providing us such a wonderful platform. The aim of Kalwas is to give you the opportunity to connect and interact with world renowned speakers, academic leaders, teachers, authors, researchers, experts, professionals, and businessmen to learn from their experiences, recommendations, and suggestions, which will create an impact and will enable you to learn and develop yourself in order to grow and transform individually, as well as to contribute to the world in a positive way. As our slogan is, come, learn, and share knowledge. So today we have an amazing person as guest, a person having a wonderful experience in academia and industry, international known personality, a person working on various research projects and contributing to the world and field in different ways. He's already he's a great person and he's always ready to support and share his knowledge on various platforms. So let us uh, introduce him formally. Uh, he's currently working as an assistant professor in IBMS, the University of Agriculture Peshawar, since 2011. He worked and working as a visiting faculty member with various universities. Some of, our, some of them are like IMS, University of Peshawar, International Islamic University, Islamabad, etc. In addition to that, he has worked on several projects and currently working on various projects along with the project with the Higher Education Department government of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Pakistan. Moreover, he remained the organizing committee member in arranging the international conferences various. In addition to that, he has more than 50 plus research publication in high impact journals, including the HEC recognized journal and so many other databases. Along with that, he is also supervising and supervised number of students in their thesis. He is professional trainer and business consultant. Last but not the least, he's a wonderful speaker, author, teacher, researcher, professional, and above everything, a great human being. So please help me in welcoming our guest, Dr. Imran Said. Dr. Imran Said, welcome to the Calvas platform and thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Bismillah rahman rahim uh, First of all, I would like uh, to thank you, Dr. Haider Shah for arranging such uh, a, a good seminar, a valuable seminar, an eligible seminar throughout the globe uh, uh, with no money, free of cost. Like these seminars are valuable for scholar as well as for practitioner, for academia and uh, around the globe. Uh, as, as you know, the Dr. Heather Shah introduced me uh, already, but let me uh, something about myself, uh, about my research profile. Uh, whenever we talk about impact factor journal in, in Pakistan, uh, we, when we uh, uh, like when we think about impact factor journal, oh, it's impossible how we can publish an impact factor journal. I remember uh, my success story. I want to share with you people. That is, and August two thousand twenty uh, from January twenty twenty one. I started the work with my teammate, uh, with my two team members, my friends. So when we published two or three papers in X category journal, then I stopped them. No. They say, why? I said, stop it. No, we will move toward the uh, impact factor journal. They said, how is it possible that we will publish an impact factor journal? Is it possible for us? I said, yes, it is possible for us. So, Everything, everyone in the world can uh, are doing research and publishing an impact factor journal. I said, why not? We can do it. They say, if you are uh, 
if, if you are ready and uh, you motivated us then okay then it's okay we will start it then i started the work on different research paper uh, and different research paper and then uh, target some of the journal like uh, I, I will say uh, journal of knowledge management uh, which is 8.8 .8 something impact factor journal uh, when we write a research paper, we studied the scope, uh, the, the area uh, related to the uh, knowledge management journal. When we submit it to, uh, to that journal, uh, after that is free of cost journal, after two and a half months, uh, uh, we received uh, a revision. That was one was major revision and one was minor revision. My team member were shocked that how is it possible that knowledge, Journal of Knowledge Management sent revision, one uh, reviewer accepted with minor revision and the another one is with major revision. I said, look at see, inshallah, uh, in upcoming time and in future, we will target some good journal. So we started and Alhamdulillah, today is 20, uh, 29 October 2022. I publish 15 W category research paper in this one and a half, almost one and a half or one year. And five of my research papers are in review process, like they are very good journal. Most of you are known to them. That is Janela Business Research, which is uh, which is a very good journal. And Janela Business Ethics, the our paper are in, uh, in law stages. Inshallah, hopefully within a month, uh, we will receive uh, acceptance letter from Janela Business Research and Inshallah then after uh, and Janela Business Ethics. So uh, these are the things which, which most of the people say that we can't do it. Uh, if there is, uh, if a person want to do, if a researcher want to do to publish an impact factor journal, he or she can do it easily. But how he or she can do it easily there are some sort of things which are very uh, which must which is observable which uh, which researcher must focus on though on that uh, those the things which are related to the uh, publishing an impact factor journal i already already shared with you people uh, my slides uh, so let's start with the slide Dr. Imran Saeed, uh, really, uh, it's a pleasure to have you with us. And I really am thankful for your appreciation for our team. Uh, that's the wonderful part. Uh, I would say, uh, Dr. Imran, uh, you started with the motivational story and you made it very clear for our audience that it's not that big deal. You just need to understand the basic rules and what things needs to be considered. And I think you have a, given a wonderful start to this webinar by motivating our audience around the globe. So I'm looking forward for this wonderful session. Please can continue. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to start those things which are related to uh, to publish a research paper and good impact factor journal. These things which I'm going to present you in this webinar session that is how to publish an impact factor journal. Like there are plenty of ways to get your research work out into the world, like from broad scope, open access journal to preprint platform. And some instances, you may be keen to see your work published in a journal that scores highly in citation based metrics. If we go to the next section, that is after all in an age of information abundance, these matters have become a shorthand for where to focus your limited time. However, many researchers are not aware of the assessment process at high impact factor journals. Here are some techniques and strategies you can use to ensure your work has the best chance of finding an appropriate home. Like uh, if, some, if somebody write a research paper and uh, he just hold that research paper and think about that where I'm uh, I will uh, where uh, where I will publish this research paper. This here there is a big question mark. If you write a research paper, then you must know the 
the scope, the area, the journal related to your research paper. So just relate your area of research, your area of interest, your scope of research with the journal scope. Once you match the journal scope and your research paper scope, then it will be easy for you to publish in good impact factor journal. Like the first question that is, most of the time ask this question before you prepare your manuscript. Sometimes we write a research paper without thinking. We, we just take an idea from literature and write a research paper. But before going to start that research idea, you must know about your manuscript. You must know that manuscript preparation is an important cornerstone of the research. There are multiple steps and goals involved in the manuscript preparation and its publication. However, even before you start creating the manuscript for your paper, think about the underlying messages you want to communicate and why you want to publish your work. Like uh, if you have a research paper and you want to publish your research paper, you must know the reason behind that, that why you want to uh, that, that why you prepare or complete this manuscript and why you want to publish your manuscript and where you want to publish your manuscript. Ask this question before you begin. The first question is, have you done something new? Uh, uh, the, the, a piece of paper you write, is there is a unique idea in your piece of paper? Is there a unique idea in your manuscript? Is there anything challenging in your work like how you will attract the uh, journal, how you will attract the reviewer, your idea of your manuscript is the most important part of your research. That it must be a challenging work. Like, will uh, your results influence other researcher? Like most of the time, if we say some of the scholar write a research paper or some of the scholar develop a theory. So after some time, you uh, another person write a research paper or develop a theory and criticize the old one so this this is the basically the question this is basically the gap you want to criticize you want to challenge you uh, the other researcher have you provided solution to some difficult problems or not so this was the first question which uh, uh, which, which must be asked before going to start uh, before going to start your manuscript. The second step of impact factor general publication is make your manuscript publication worthy. Some of the time we write a research paper in and we just count the uh, number of pages and we just count the number of words, we just count the number of references on re, on, re, on in our research paper or in our manuscript. But th these are not sufficient for the publication, these are not sufficient for the manuscript. Uh, these are the things which which are compulsory, uh, which must be included in the manuscript, which make your manuscript uh, worthy. That is, what makes one manuscript more effective than the other? What are the components of a good manuscript? High impact factor journal seek high quality manuscript. Uh, that not only contribute to the knowledge of the reader, but also clearly communicate the results and impact of the research. Here are some important characteristics of a good manuscript. If you have a, if you have, let's suppose if you have a research paper or a manuscript, then you must know about these uh, characteristics. That must, these characteristics must be present in your research paper. The first one is clear scientific message. If the manuscript contains a scientific message that is clear and useful and exciting, a good manuscript conveys the author's thoughts in a logical manner so the reader arrives at the same conclusion at the author. Like the most important thing, how you will attract the reader, how you will attract the reviewer. That is the most important part of the research. That is the most important of the manuscript. If your manuscript is not good, the reader, the author, the reviewer will not uh, attract to your research or paper. The second thing that is manuscript format. 
The manuscript is constructed in the format that best showcases the author's material and is written and staying. The, that is, every journal ha has their own format. Like most of the time, uh, I, I, I also did it this, uh, this practice. Once I remember I submitted my research paper to one journal, I was in hurry. One thing that is, if you are going to submit your manuscript, don't be hurry. Just stay calm, read the scope of the journal, read the formatting style of the journal, read the references style of the journal, and then after that you can submit to that journal. If you, uh, uh, let me share my own story. I, I submitted one of my research paper to one of the impact factor journal. And uh, although the quality of the research paper was good, uh, but once I submitted to that journal, after two or three days or within a week, uh, they rejected my paper and they uh, mentioned that uh, your manuscript is very good, but it is not according to our format uh, or journal format. So it must be clear that once if you are going to submit a research paper to any impact factor journal, first you read the journal scope, first you read the journal uh, formatting style, and then make it uh, make your manuscript, manuscript according to that journal format and then submit to that journal then it will be easy for you and for the journal and for the editor like i'm also uh, let me share i'm also an editor uh, with frontiers in psychology uh, in last month uh, my issue is launched if someone submit research paper and they didn't follow the formatting style of that journal like frontiers in psychology straight away i rejected that paper because journals strictly follow their rules and formatting style especially they, they they extremely focus on their formatting style so don't be hurry to submit your research paper to uh, to different journal the other one that is title and abstract let me share something that is uh, most of the people nowadays in management sciences, uh, like they uh, write a title effect of this on this. In my opinion, if your idea is a very unique idea, uh, your idea is full of novelty, your idea is full of originality, then you can write effect of this on this. If there is most of it's, uh, if different research papers available and that idea, then you can change the title and make it very attractive. Why make it very attractive? Make it attractive for the reader, for especially for the editor and for the reviewer. Once they uh, read your the title of the research paper, uh, if your title is attractive, definitely they will they will be attractive toward your research paper. They will be curious about your research paper and they will uh, write, they will read your research paper uh, with, uh, with curiosity. The, uh, with, uh, the, the, there must be something in this research paper. There must be something good in this research paper. So title and abstract must be good and must and, 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 and the, the title of the research paper must be a unique idea. Not traditional idea like effect of this on this mediating role of this moderating role of this. Make it very attractive. Abstract must be concise, which shows like abstract. There are different uh, different journal have different abstract style. Some of like Emerald even if we talk about Emerald Journal, Emerald have different uh, style. If we talk about Academy of Management Journal, uh, Academy of Management Review, Academy of Management Annal, they have different abstract style. They, uh, so every journal make your abstract according to the journal format. If they need abstract style with emerald style, then you make it according to that. Introduction, methodology, results, conclusion, novelty, these heading wise, the abstract of the uh, your manuscript then second come to the after title and abstract then come to the what's the story find a simple and concise way to tell your story through your manuscript 
ensure logical layout of arguments and flow of experiments the chronology of the experiments is not important and don't forget to make use of summary statement and then the most important part that is underpinning theory as you know that in management sciences and social sciences theoretical portion is the most important part of the research if there is no theory in your research straight away the journal will reject theory mean you, you just it doesn't mean that you mention a heading and just uh, explain the theory in one paragraph no that is not sufficient and impact for impact factor journal you must link the very let's suppose if you want to link two variable of either relationship existed existed in previous literature or either not existed in previous literature you must uh, uh, you must support your variable link uh, with literature and with theoretical justification how theory support this relationship uh, most of the time i remember uh, in my few paper not in few paper i consider that in all my research paper which i publish in impact factor journal they strongly focus they extremely focus on the theoretical link in the manuscript how you will theoretically link the variable how it will how this variable affect this what theory says about this and theoretical perspective you will you must explain the variable relationship within one paragraph either you want to start in the uh, every relationship uh, link at the start of the relationship or in mid paragraph or at the end of the paragraph it's up to you or whether general want to mention it then you you can mention it accordingly so underpinning theory is the most important part of the research and impact factor general second one the third one that is write a good cover letter cover letters most of the journal a good impact factor journal need a strong cover letter when you submit to a premium journal make sure you write a good cover letter this is your chance to convince the editor why your research is interesting and worth a review while a strong cover letter does not guarantee that your pub, that your manuscript will be published a badly written letter may make the editor wonder about the quality and thoroughness of your research paper here are some tips to write a good cover letter start your cover letter by stating why you think the paper is a good fit for this journal the the, the most important thing that is to create a fit between your manuscript and the journal scope that is the most important part of the research if your manuscript is fit in that journal scope then you can easily target that journal you can easily publish your research paper in that journal second include additional background information that is relevant but does not fit into your abstract focus on answering why you think the question you sent out to address is important and why what you found is so exciting and then men from your lab the details of meeting where you have presented this work and feedback you might have received for your research the fourth step that is write an effective methodology and results section your methodology part must be clear like for example methodology must be clear target sample and sector which is chosen for study must be clear should not study no simple cross sectional study like most of the time uh, we conducted research with simple cross sectional study and there is question about common method variance problem uh, and for that uh, to reduce the common method variance problem good journal always prefer that you must go to uh, time lake study and longitudinal study so through this the common method various problem will be easily reduced 
Then, after methodology results section of the, your manuscript presents the core finding for your research. There are some tips of the result section. This an effect result section is clear and easy to understand features unexpected findings and provide statistical analysis of the research use paragraph headings to describe concrete findings tie together your results with the discussion and make the discussion correspond to the results most of the time uh, we uh, like if you are going to uh, uh, run our results through different software so most of the time we use wrong statistical techniques or wrong statistical tool for that purpose for example if you are going to nowadays amos and smart pls are using if you are using for path analysis then smart pls and uh, structural equation modeling are the best method for for the path analysis like some of most of the time if you want to moderation mediation or mediation moderation then preacher and his is the good uh, smart pls as well so don't go to uh, that statistical tool which is outdated which is not applicable and and in few journal uh, research paper that uh, which is related to your research man script are related to you your research paper and their research paper so you can follow that trend for easy to uh, to publish your research paper then the fifth one that is mind your references references uh, most of the time uh, 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 we as a researcher we did not focus references every part of the research have their own importance we cannot ignore references like most of the time in pakistan we ignore references it's okay we can put it references from anywhere no this is wrong the references and acknowledge section is very important ensure you give credit to all papers you reference and to people who have been helpful in the success of your research. Here are some quick tips for this section. Cite the main scientific, uh, scientific publication on which your work area is based. Try, you must try to focus that, uh, those area in which area you have uh, write your manuscript uh, and you must follow those references which is very closely to your research manuscript uh, other than your research manuscript uh, it will create doubt in the uh, reviewer mind or editor mind do not use do not uh, too many references like most of the time uh, i remember when i was student uh, we uh, what we did that was our practices that uh, to increase the number of pages we put more references we put more references so that number of pages increase from 100 to 200 or 200 to 300. That is an thesis you can do, but in research paper and good impact factor journal, you will strictly follow only relevant references and not too many references. Nowadays, some good journal uh, discourage too many references. Ensure you are fully understand the material you are referencing and that it support your work in the way you think it does. Keep self-citation to a minimum. Uh, like uh, we can accept this, that most of the time in, in, in researcher community, uh, we prefer to, uh, to cite our own work uh, most of the time. So in good impact factor journal, they discourage uh, such type of practices and research. If you are using your own citation, then Try to focus to use those citations which are very closely to your research area or your research paper. Do not use uh, other irrelevant references of your and do not 
uh, cite those research uh, re citation in your own research manuscript. Keep self uh, then avoid excessive citation of publication from the same region. Yes, that is the most important part. If let's suppose if I'm in Pakistan, I'm using I'm 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 write a research paper. If I focus on those citation which is which is which is which are mostly in Pakistani based, so in good impact factor journal, they discourage such type of practices. You can you cannot take uh, many citation from your own region from same region. So uh, we we must also care about we must be careful about this and then. You uh, after a, a manuscript acknowledge your advisor, financial supporter, funding bodies, suppliers who donated materials, and any other people who helped you in this uh, in this journey. Address reviewer comments very carefully. That is the most important uh, part of the research. Some of the time. Uh, we ignore the reviewer comments like how we ignore the reviewer comments let me share my own story once i remember a few months ago two to three months ago uh, i incorporated changes uh, the, on the on that paper four reviewer commented on that paper i incorporated some some comments and ignore 50% comments then these are not related uh, I, I, and I didn't answer to that comment sir. when I submit to that journal again then again reviewer highlighted those comments that you incorporated these changes which I suggested to you but you ignore these changes if you you must be you must follow my instruction and you must incorporate all comments but one Thing that is it is not necessary to incorporate all comments if you are not agree with the reviewer comments because sometimes a, a, a reviewer have 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 no, have no sufficient knowledge in the area which you which you work which you write a research which you write a good piece of work while a reviewer re, read it and comment on that i i remember I'm also working with different impact factor journal as a reviewer and some of the journal have their own policy and they straight away mention in the uh, in the in the policy they, uh, to the other they if let's suppose uh, I submitted to one paper to the journal and uh, and they send us the review and the, the editor clearly mentioned that you can incorporate all changes while if you want to not incorporate changes uh, and, and you don't agree with the reviewer, then you can, uh, then you may strongly uh, answer to that question that why you don't agree with the reviewer comments, uh, how and why. So most of the journal have, uh, are, are practicing that it is not compulsory to uh, incorporate all comments of the reviewer. So these were so this these are the uh, 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 these are the some of the valuable suggestions from my side that uh, how to write a good research paper and how to um, uh, publish a good research paper and good impact factor journal. So uh, with this, I will say uh, if anybody want to ask question, then the room is open for all of you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Imran Saeed. Really, I love the way you started it from motivational story of your success story. I loved it uh, the way you talked about how did you initiate and how did you start working towards the high impact journals and uh, how you were able to get the acceptance and publication in the impact factor journals. Mostly, uh, I like the way you talked about the what needs to be considered even before sending the paper. That's the most important thing. Uh, what things needs to be considered in advance before sending your paper. And really, uh, very nicely, you have mentioned that uh, you must see scope of your paper and the scope of the journal as well, which is very important. And sometimes the initial or the beginner researcher 
uh, they do these kind of mistakes that they send paper to the irrelevant journal and they get the rejection after two weeks, maybe after three weeks, and that uh, results in the uh, loss of the precious time. Uh, very good. Uh, I, I really like the way you talked about the what things needs to be considered first before even sending your paper. And then I love the way you talk about the how you are going to select the topic and the abstract, the title, which is actually the uh, attraction point of view, uh, how you can make it more attractive in order to get the attention of the audience, particularly first the editor and the reviewers. And uh, one thing was which was very important, I, I believe that most of the people they do not consider is the formatting style of the journal. Uh, very nicely you have talked about it that we need to consider the formatting because uh, as you mentioned and I love the way you give your own example uh, that uh, uh, you you reject the paper just because of the, uh, the formatting and I really uh, like your another example that after a few days the viewer paper were rejected because of that. So really that is the experiences which you are sharing with our audience so that they should not be repeating the same kind of mistake and they could learn from your experiences. Uh, rest, I like the way you talked about the uh, methodology, how the methodology is connected. And one another respect I really loved was the uh, how you are going to tackle the reviewer's comment. And very nicely you have talked about that. Uh, you should be doing it with a careful attention and uh, you must address each and every part of it. And again, you give your own example as well, that if you miss it, Again, the reviewer will send you and will remind you that such uh, uh, the uh, questions have not been addressed and please do it. So again, it will be, you know, the wastage of time that uh, you will not be able to complete your revision in time. So uh, till end references and so many things uh, in between. One, thing, did, one yes. thing here which I want to discuss and uh, reviewer comments. Uh, if somebody, uh, if somebody, uh, uh, give answer to the reviewer, then the author must highlight those area, those paragraph where uh, where reviewer uh, uh, where reviewer comment on that paragraph or uh, address question on that paragraph or any part of the research. It must be highlighted, yellow highlighted, not red highlighted. Yes, very nice. Once again, thank you. And I think these are the real recommendation. And uh, most of the time we learn through our teamwork on different research paper because when we work with the senior research fellow, they usually tell us in the team that uh, in the revised manuscript, we have to highlight it with the yellow one so that it could be uh, uh, noticed very well and the reviewer could understand where the actual the revised version is there and what are the new references and so many things. I think that's the uh, really good uh, suggestion once again. So I uh, really enjoyed this session with you because uh, everything was so much connected and uh, you shared your own practical examples. Uh, I think that's the wonderful part of it. And uh, if you allow me, should we start with the first question? Because there are a lot of questions waiting for yes, your please, uh, yes, wonderful please. recommendations. Yes, so please. thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, the first question uh, Dr. Imran say they want to ask is that uh, uh, thank you very much for such a wonderful uh, presentation. Uh, dear doctor, please describe what are the different challenges you faced as a beginner researcher. Yes, please. Uh, thank you so much. As uh, I'm connected with the research since 2011, but uh, I will share my own experiences with you people. If you uh, find a good teacher, if you find a good supervisor, then uh, nothing is impossible for you. Like uh, I found uh, when I was doing my PhD, I found my supervisor, she was very good and she was very supportive. Always she appreciate me. And she told me that how you will connect the idea, how you will connect sentences with one another, which, uh, which I will agree with the, uh, with, the, the, with the participant question that uh, at initial stage nobody knows that how to write a research paper but with the passage of time when you read more research paper when you write more research paper with the practice a person uh, at the end uh, anybody can can come to the stage that he or she can easily write a research paper 
and connecting theory and connecting paragraph, connecting different sentences and follow the and follow the proper procedure in the research paper. Very nice. Thank you for your wonderful answer. And one another question, I think that's uh, very uh, relevant. They want to ask that, uh, dear doctor, would you like to share with us your secret? Uh, how do you select the new idea for new for your new research paper and new project? Yes, please. Uh, yeah. Yes, that's a very good question. Uh, as I remember, nobody can share this idea, but I will. But let me share this idea. Uh, first of all. When I want to write a research paper, I target the journal. Then I target the journal. After that, I read different research paper of that journal. And then I focus that what is the uh, acceptance ratio of that journal. And then other thing, other one that is with most of the time, uh, nobody know about this. That is the paper receiving date paper revision date, paper acceptance date. That is the most important part of the research. If you want to publish your research paper quick, then you must focus on that journal where the number of issues are maximum, like most of some of the journal, they publish 12 issues, 20 issues, eight issues or 10 issues per year. So in, in such journal, the chances of publication are maximum. So this uh, and another another one that is I remember my first paper when uh, it was published in Journal of Knowledge Management. Uh, I write that pursued or qualification are negatively related to the negative behavior of the employees. When I was writing that research paper, I found that there is a gap, and the gap was that nobody write that pursued or qualification have positive outcomes also. When I complete the negative paper, then I started the positive paper. With a one month gap, both papers were accepted in General of Knowledge Management. Wow, very nice once again. A uh, wonderful answer to this question. Uh, uh, now, another question is uh, Dr. Raman said, very nice, and they, it is uh, some of the most of the time, a lot of students they face this kind of problem. The uh, question is, uh, uh, Dr. Imran said, I am the PhD student and you know the length of the publication process is quite long and you never sure whether your paper will be accepted or rejected until you remain stressful. So please share some of your tips. How do you manage your stress with publication process? Please share your recommendation. Yes, please. Uh, thank you. That was the most important question uh, as I share in this at the start of the session that uh, uh, when uh, when I stop my team member that please don't publish an X, Y, we, we, we can go to the W category uh, good impact factor journal. So uh, th that is the, the most important part that is if you want to hit a good journal and if you want to publish your research paper, then Again, I will uh, uh, I will answer that try to focus those uh, journal which have multiple issues like so many issues and and in so many issues they publish maximum research paper uh, and monthly basis. So the review process try to focus those journal where review process is very quick. Uh, like again, some of the journal they have review process is very low. One of the journal that is vocational behavior, which is around about eight to 10 impact factor, uh, a person who related to our field that is human resource management or behavior management or psychology, they can publish easily their research paper just in a one month. In a one month, you will get the idea that my research paper will be accepted or rejected. Just in a one month, they have, uh, that, that is uh, free of cost, unpaid journal. Uh, their review process is very quick. So try to focus on those journal where review process is very quick. Yeah. But wow. again, but again, that is, that is also a research that you find a good journal, that you find a quick journal, that is also a good research. 
So it means that uh, doing the publication, uh, you have to start your research from the beginning. Very yes, nice, sir. Yes. And I love your analogy as well. There is one another question uh, they want to ask that is theoretical support mandatory for every research? Uh, what if there is no theory, theory behind a research topic? Yes, please. And social sciences, yes, theoretical support is mandatory. If uh, there is no theory behind a topic, then there must be some topology, there must be some model which must support that, uh, that research. So th in my opinion, uh, in our area, research paper and research paper theoretical support is mandatory. Yeah. Thank you. And I'm enjoying the way you are giving answer, wonderful answer. And it is based on your experiences and your exposure, which is wonderful. One another question, and as a teacher, as a professor, as a researcher, uh, you might have answered multiple times, but now at this global platform, they want to ask another question that, uh, dear prof, please share, how do you keep yourself motivated in this research journey? Yes, please. <laughs> it is a, a good question and it is a secret question, but let me share. Uh, like I completed my PhD in 2017, uh, uh, my first impact factor research paper, which I published, that was in 2020, which was related to COVID-19, uh, anxiety and COVID-19. And COVID-19, uh, if, if, if someone want to publish their research paper, it was so easy for researcher to publish uh, re their manuscript. But, uh, I was thinking that no, my X category journal or my Y category journal, these are sufficient for me. I want to do something new. I want to, to do good work. So that good work, that motivation keep me motivated for long term basis. Like most of the time I talk with the student in the class uh, and my PhD students and my MS students, like I told them in classes that uh, uh, you people reading material in the whole semester while I'm reading too much material in one month while you people, if I compare my study, my reading with you people, your six months reading and my one month reading, I think my one month reading will be, uh, will be more than your six months reading. So that is the other one that is, as you know that uh, uh, the world is globalized, if you want to spread your network, if you want to share your Google profile, uh, nobody will follow you, your local category journal paper. Everyone tried to focus on impact factor journal. So uh, that was the motivation uh, which keep me uh, continue uh, and struggle for a long term basis. So. <clears throat> So that's why uh, another one that was uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm 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 going to publish some good research paper because I want to get experience in some uh, foreign countries like I want to do job in different uh, international and good universities abroad. Uh, uh, so that's why I'm uh, I'm motivated to do work. And the other one that is if there is a motivation. Uh, anything you want to do. If you work 24 hours a day, you will never tired. True, very true. And uh, that is very much visible in your tone, in your expression and the way you do your work, that your motivation is very much there and which is actually keep you alive and keep striving towards the more better journal, the more good research work. And I would say you have multiple reasons uh, which are actually boosting you towards doing much better contribution towards the field and world as well. One another question, uh, uh, dear Dr. Imran Sahib, uh, they want to ask that, uh, uh, please uh, clarify the role of the profile. Do you think does your profile matters while you publish your research paper in Impact Factor Journal? Yes, please. Uh, no. If I want to share my own experience, my own profile, 
I remember uh, when I started my research work in Impact Factor Journal, at that time, uh, my citation was 50 roundabout. But now, within a year, my citation is uh, from 50 to 540, and increased from 50 to 540 within a year. And uh, I don't know that at the end of this year, uh, maybe it uh, may be at, at close to 700, maybe it close to 1000. So profile doesn't matter. Yes, one thing is matter that is. If you are working with foreigner, with some professor who belong to USA, who belong to Canada, who belong to Australia, who belong to China, then it matter a lot in different journals. Okay, very nice sir. and really uh, thank you for such a wonderful answer for that. It means that uh, it is the motivation that within a year how progressed you in terms of the citation and you are looking forward to it. I think that's the wonderful part. Uh, so it means uh, you keep on striving and you keep on hard working and dedication towards the research work and your work will be recognized by international community. So it's not about the, your profile, but it's about your work, the quality yes. of your work, yes. and how do you deliver. Uh, one last question. I'm enjoying this uh, question answer session with you, but since we have the time limitation, uh, one last question they want to ask that, uh, uh, dear prof, uh, it was a great discussion and it was a great presentation from your side. Please tell us about the attitude towards the research. Do you think attitude has something to do with the publication as well? Yes, please. Uh, yes, attitude is the most important thing in our life. Uh, you know that attitude has two types. One is positive and the one is negative. If your attitude is positive to research, then you can do a lot of things. You can publish a lot of good research paper and good research journal. So attitude matter a lot in your research. Once again, a very nice answer to that, that uh, no, you cannot ignore the uh, attitude because attitude is something that makes uh, you uh, in a different place and that gives you the competitive advantage because if you have a winner attitude, definitely you are going to win it. And uh, the attitude that is based on the positivity, that is based on the contribution, that is based on your way forward, and that would actually help you and connect you with the right people who can help you in the field. And uh, uh, through this way, you can contribute in a much better way. Really, Dr. Imran, uh, I really enjoyed this session with you. Very insightful session it was. You shared wonderful your recommendation and tips with the our audience around the globe. Uh, Dr. Imran, at the end of uh, our session, uh, we ask our each guest about their message to the world. So what is your message to the world as a speaker, author, teacher, researcher, trainer, learner, professional, and educator? Yes, please. Uh, once again, thank you, Dr. Heather. Uh, you are really doing an amazing job uh, in such type of tension and such type of situation. You are doing, uh, I salute you. You are doing amazing job. The, my message to especially to the Pakistani community. Uh, one thing, one st real story I want to share with you that was related to someday, uh, two days ago, my friend, uh, he went to America, USA, Washington, DC, and he shared his video and picture while he was walking in, in, some, of the in some of the street of Washington, DC. And there was a uh, small library like small cupboard uh, a cupboard in on the roadside and one statement that was uh, read, read, read on, written on that cupboard that was if somebody want to donate book then they can put it here or if somebody want to take book then it's free for all of you so i messaged them that developed nation they are called developed nation because this is the the success story behind that, that they're providing 
library opportunity on the roadside. I, I, I mentioned that in developing countries, why we are suffering, that is the big, uh, the reason that is, uh, unfortunately, that is, that is, this is our bad luck, that is, that, that most of the books stall, like secondhand book on the roadside, people are going and get the book. There is no uh, respect, when there is no respect for the book, when there is no respect for the research, it will go to the, uh, to the dark ages. So my message is, if you want to do a good work, if you want to start something, either it's business, either it's research, then try to keep your attitude positive to that and do your best what you want to do. Wow, wow. I really enjoyed this wonderful message to the world. It means, uh, if uh, I paraphrase it, that would be that please, uh, develop your habits towards the reading. You must have yes. a reading habit, yes. which you uh, wonderfully uh, explain in your presentation that uh, actually you read a lot. So once you read a lot, that's why you publish a lot. So it means you can reproduce on once you read it. And uh, very nicely, you have mentioned about the role of the positive attitude as well. And we can grow from learning. Uh, there, is, uh, there are different philosophers, the business philosophers, they always talk about the reading of the great books because we yes. learn from two sources. One is your personal source and second one is your other experiences. And other experiences are documented in the great books. The people may not be uh, live now, but we can read what they have experienced and what are their recommendations through their books and autographies uh, so i would say that please uh, as the dr imran said already mentioned very nicely that please develop your habits towards reading the more you read it the more it will polish your reading skills and that would be very much reflected in your writing skills as well because you will come across so many new terminologies and you will learn about the research thing the business world and the journal writing and there is one uh, quotation that nothing goes unpaid. And uh, my father used to say this thing that uh, please contribute and don't think uh, that uh, something is uh, being lost. Or uh, uh, there is nothing. Uh, uh, he would say that nothing goes unpaid. You will be uh, paid accordingly and you will be rewarded accordingly. So you keep on doing the right things. Uh, whatever the small, the baby steps you take, but one day eventually that will help you and that will make you. And this is what, uh, that's why I really love the way Dr. Imran says started from himself. He quoted himself that how did he take the initiative to start working and publishing towards the Impact Factor Journal. And now he's in front of you as an example. Uh, he is a president that he showed by his actions, not by his words, that you can do the same thing what he had done. So really, thank you very much, Dr. Imran Saeed, for your wonderful presentation. Uh, to the audience that please do follow the distinguished guest speaker through his research work, and you can email him for future learning and guidance. He's very generous and always ready to help the people. Moreover, powerful explanation and wonderful content, which the great speaker has already elaborated, will help you to learn and develop your understanding regarding the publication process. So that's all we have time for today. Thank you once again, Dr. Imran Saeed. And uh, I would like to thank our audience who joined us. Uh, thank you all for your support and liking our session. Stay tuned as many sessions are, are on the way. Please do not miss any session. Until next session, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.